In today's video, you will learn simple methods to boost your FPS on any low-end laptop in Valorant. Here are some clips before doing these settings and basically after doing these settings. But anyway, let's get into the video. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to head over to your Windows tab. You want to type out run. Then you want to run the run application. Then once you open up the application, what you want to do is you want to type out this command. I will leave this command in the description so you can basically copy and paste it. So once you paste the command, you basically want to hit OK. Then you want to click on saved. You want to click on config you want to click on this bunch of numbers with a bunch of words you want to click on it then you want to click on windows then you want to right click on game user settings and you want to click on edit so once you open up this file you want to scroll all the way down and you want to see scalability groups and you want to put your resolution quality on 50 percent now guys this will bring down the quality of Valorant, but you will be able to play on very high fps 100 plus so type in 50 so once you type in 50 you basically want to put your view distance quality on zero and Anderson quality on zero your shadow quality on zero post process quality and basically all the other settings your texture quality you just want to put on two then once you're done with that you want to click on file and you want to click on save now what you want to do for the second step is you want to head over to your files you want to click on your local disk then you want to head over to your riot games you want to click on valorant live then you want to right click on valorant.exe and you want to click on properties then once this box pops up you want to click on compatibility then you want to tick the box disable full screen optimization then once you're done with that you want to click on change high dpi settings and you want to tick the box override high dpi scaling behavior then you want to click ok apply and ok now what you want to do for the third step is you want to head over to your windows tab you want to type out power plan then you want to click on choose a power plan now if your power plan is on balance what you want to do is you want to put it on ultimate performance if you don't see ultimate performance you want to basically put it on high performance now for the fourth step you basically need to download a valorant fps boost pack for the laptop users i will leave a link in the description so you can basically download this file now once you download the file you basically want to open the file and you want to run all these optimizations you just want to head over to the next file and you want to pick the ram that you have installed in your pc you basically want to click on it then you want to click on the fourth one you want to choose either you can choose normal priority high priority and above normal priority now if you put it on high priority you will get more performance in your fps if you click above normal you will even get more so it's your decision then for the final step what you want to do is you want to open up your valorant then you want to head over to the settings bar and you want to click on settings then what you want to do is you want to click on the video tab then you want to put your display mode you always want to put it on full screen your resolution you want to put it on 720p or you can go for the 768 this will be the best setting for basically low-end laptops so put it on 720p then you want to put all these settings off then once you're done with that you basically want to head over to the graphics quality tab and you want to copy these settings you want to put your material quality on low texture quality on low detail quality on low the ui quality on low and you want to put all these settings off especially vsync put it off your anti-analysing you want to put it on on none your anti tropical filter you want to put it on 1x and you want to put all these settings off but anyway that was the end of the video if this video helped you please give it a like and also subscribe for more fps boost content just like this especially some valid content but anyway i'll see you in the next video peace out